kept alive by Solve. Centering pass out in front, shot and a score for Providence. Now over the line, right side, Cunningham, right wing circle, his shot score. Cunningham let it go. And now Johnson McDermott. And McDermott. Justin Johnson and Lane McDermott going at a couple of rights by McGurn, left by Johnson as they exchange blows in the left wing circle. McDon I should say McDermott taking a big left from Justin Johnson. And Wines been getting in the way. Both those guys wanted to keep that thing going. And Justin Azevedo drops it off for Muzzin. His drive through a screen, save. Loose puck out in front, score! And the Monarchs score a PSNH power play goal. May have been, and I think the judgment is he went off one through it. Faye to Zarnik, his shot goes wide, loose puck out in front. Shot of the score, Cozen. And the Monarchs have tied it up on a goal by Brandon Cozen. Plays a neutral zone, 15 seconds left in the period. Over the line, right side, Zarnik, his shot safe. Loose puck out in front, and a score! As the puck deflected high up into the air, and went over the goal line. Off. Kept in far side, Camper, long drive score. As Camper let it go from just inside the blue line. And I think it was redirected in front by Zatkoff. Cozen, Cozen with it, Cozen. Now to Muzzin for a blast. Rebound in front, shot and a score, Lyndon Bay! On the Muzzin rebound! Bay bangs it home! And the Monarchs lead it four to three! French fries for everybody! To the ice, Muzzin, banging Sauvé hard along the left wing. And we have a battle going on! In Zatkoff the right wing is corner. in there too. Yeah. Zatkoff down as well in the corner. A right wing corner in the Monarch zone as we had a major flare up after this one came to an end. Sauvé was just hammered against the wall and the Monarchs win it four to three. Yeah, you know, um, we rebounded from uh, a couple of glitches we had there. And I want to give our guys a lot of credit for hanging in. And it, was a, it was just huge in the second period to come out with the energy and get as many pucks at the net as we did. And, you know, they weren't pretty, but... Uh, it all adds up at the tail end, and uh, I was pleased that the guys responded to the challenge after the first period. We had a pretty uh, uh, firm message, and you know uh, our guys really responded. And when that happens, uh, you gotta you gotta feel good about things. And to score the game winner at the tail end and execute a just a simple low to high play with net traffic and. You know, Jake Muzzin got the puck to the net, and he was standing there for the to bang home the rebound. So uh, that's kind of how you draw up those types of plays in practice. And uh, I think the difference for for our production today, uh, when we needed it, was to have net traffic. Yeah, you know, um, we just piecemealed uh, the lines at certain junctures of the game, but obviously, uh, you know, every, everybody contributed and. You can take a look around the locker room and everybody's feeling pretty good about themselves because uh, they all did something in the game and right from uh, Justin Johnson and uh, all the way through the lineup, the guys did their part and played their role to a tee. And, uh, Providence has been playing very well as of late and to get back in the win column certainly uh, makes us feel like uh, there's more upside yet to come. So obviously a lot better feeling to go into that week-long break with, uh, with two points. That was part of the message, you know, uh, when you're when you're having to deal with uh, uh, a length of a uh, period of time when you're off, you've got to make sure that you leave with a good thought in your head, and this certainly should do that for us. And uh, it can work the opposite way if you don't have success. So this was a big win. It really uh, helps us to um, have a little momentum and uh, certainly will make practice a lot more enjoyable this week. There's really no room for margin for error? No, no. Boy, we've got games, uh, more games played than anybody, and teams are going to start to catch up 
all we can do is take care of business ourselves and not really worry about the other teams. Uh, we've got to, our fate will be in our hands uh, down the stretch run. Yeah, um, we wanted to come out. I think we had the right mindset. And before you know it, a uh, couple bang bang plays. It's it's two nothing. They had some uh, some execution there. So I thought it was really important what we did regrouping in between the first and second period, and uh, you know to come out and storm storm their crease like that and score some dirty goals was big for us. Um, you know it wasn't all that bad in between uh, in between the first and second. But bottom line is we have scored our chances, and we can't let them have uh, have tapping goals or odd man rushes. And we corrected that in the second period. Just talk about how tight it is and how, how important each game and each point is going to be here in the stretch run. Yeah, it's it's very important, especially, you know, you look at all the games we have lately, it's it's like every game is a four-point game when you're playing uh, with inner division or conference. Um, you know, if, if you don't get those, those two points, you're dropping two back, and the other teams are moving two ahead. So you got to make sure you take care of business when you get these uh, teams that are right close to you in the standings. Yeah, that's huge for us. Um, it would have been a... It would have been a tough week to look for positives if you don't come out of it with two points. So for us, it's uh, it's going to be nice to get a little rest. Um, you know, I think some other teams catch up to us in games played, and uh, we'll have a better idea and of, of what we need to do the rest of the way once uh, once Sunday comes. But you know, it's it's in our hands what we're going to do for the rest of the season.